It's that time of year when January felt like it had six weeks and those sunny summer days feel like a distant memory. Flashback to August 2022, when you live in London and the weather app says 0% chance of rain, stunning views like this are only a short train ride away. The Viking Coastal Trail, it's dramatic and it's a good one. You who welcome back. Lately, I've been doing a lot of this. Don't look, don't look. Absolutely not, you're insane. And this, 10,000 pounds a year. <laughs> part time, part time. Why are these all part time? For how many years? I'll be like 40 by then. What do these acronyms mean? Please tell us why you're applying for this program. <sighs> While cleaning up the old content vault, I found this here unpublished episode and thought, heck yeah, I think we could all use a bit of summer. Spoiler alert, we don't run into any ghosts of my Viking ancestors, but we are utterly captivated by the British public's full commitment to summer activities despite the ominous weather approaching. And there's a castle. This late August ramble takes us to the far east coast of Kent. We've opted for the coastal walk from Ramsgate to Broadstairs, where we'll carry on through to Margate and nearly miss our train back to London. But before that, the walk through Ramsgate is quite lovely, although we're fairly convinced our weather apps were programmed with an extra dose of optimism. I feel multiple raindrops at this point. Yeah, yeah. plural. <laughs> multiple drops. I love that you can take a train from London and find yourself on a sandy beach like this one in only a matter of a couple of hours. Honestly, it just doesn't get old for me. Romans, Saints, and Saxons landed along this coastline in Kent, and it's not hard to imagine why this area of England has inspired writers, artists, and visitors from all over the world. Steph just informed also, us she knew about it that we have to go up these no, stairs. She knew it. Uh, well, I think she should carry us. Stairs, a common theme in my episodes. Not particularly inspiring, but they usually lead to some sort of view that makes the climb seem worth the effort. Hmm, you know, <laughs> that doesn't look great. What do you think about this cloud, Eric? Ominous. <laughs> the dogs don't seem to mind, and at this point, neither do we. So we carry on through to Dumpton Gap whose name, by the way, is really quite misleading. <laughs> it's not really a dump, it's nice. Yeah. I mean, look at these views. <laughs> Don't tell them. There's a point where we can go down again. Okay. So it's okay. We won't tell the rest of the crew. They won't learn about this. No, no. Until after we've gotten home slash yeah. when I publish this episode, we'll then know <laughs> that we missed the, the seawall walk. nice turtle. Weather update. Actively misting. Chaos. So many dogs. There's so many. I know, I love this. It's raining. A little bit. It's just mist. Zero percent chance of rain though, don't worry. What did you do? What did you do? For reference, we should be down there. We've made our way to Broadstairs, a quintessential seaside town worth a day trip of its own. Despite the 12 degree weather, the beach is surprisingly busy. We're observing British people in their natural environment. Yeah. <laughs> Cold, gray. <laughs> 12 degrees at the beach. But look, they're having a great time. And so are we. I'm in awe of the, it's just a spot of rain attitude we're observing here. Look, Brits, they know how to have a good time, regardless of the circumstances. It's not hard to feel carefree in Broadstairs. It really does have that beach resort feel. Miles, are you ready for a treat already? Yes. Yeah? That is until you make your way north of the jetty. This is Eric questioning my desire to walk along the edge. Evidently, Rue and I are the only risk takers in this group. As we make our way towards Stone Bay, we stop and check Google Maps and cross-reference with the posted map, you know, because we just need to be absolutely certain we're on the right track to Margate. So we're about halfway. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Just a bunch of happy Canadians acting completely natural. Nailed it. Perfect. <laughs> Like rummaging like a squirrel. It's hilarious. It's very stressful. <laughs> Let's see what we got for snacks. Mango. I think there's a bar in here somewhere. A bar? A 
bar, a bar of sorts. Oh, Aww. we just need a minute. After a brief rest and refuel, we see this and this. Built by Lord Holland in the 1760s, this castle was an upmarket hotel in the 1930s and is now home to private apartments with views of Kingsgate Bay Beach. Now, Michelle, what do you see? Crenellations. You see those those rectangular castle bits at the top? Yeah, the castle bits. The castle bits. The castle bits. <laughs> those are those are crenellations. I don't know if I'll ever stop talking about crenellations. I feel like I tell everyone I know. Kingsgate Bay Beach truly is a little piece of paradise. It's also where we'll be acquiring lunch. While we hang out here on dog duty, the rest of our crew head inside the Captain Digby to order some pretty decent fish and chips. Controversial ketchup application. I can't be the only person who does this. Let me know in the comments. Hello? Fed, happy, and we're moving right along. Sort of. I'm off-roading it. This? Oh my god. Oh. This is unbelievable. Oh my god. So, I just climbed through the cutout through the fence. You can literally just walk around it. Well, that's what I did. <laughs> Stupid. We're just following these people because I don't know if there's anything worth seeing down here. So the question is, was all this faffing about worth it? Honestly, yeah, it kind of was. From this point on, we are hit with amazing view after amazing view. You climb up to the top of one cliff edge and you're met with a scene like this. Walk a little further, climb up over the next cliff, and repeat this process again and again. How does one walk in the sand in their in their trainers, their running shoes, and not get sand in the mesh? On a scale of one to beach in your shoe. <laughs> I don't like it. Don't like it, eh? No. Woo! We've reached the final destination on this ramble. Margate, bump and spot. What are you doing? Give me a drink, would ya? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we've decided it's time for refreshments. Baby. Uh, we're going this way. <laughs> Dreamland sounds nice. Let's give it a try. No shit. Um. Okay, maybe not, but we do make friends with the security guard and this wiggly dude. We head back to the beach where the options are endless and wander into this joint with a view of the ocean, a live DJ, dog treats for Rue, and honestly, it's kind of a vibe. So Eric's not about dancing, but he is about sports. Forewarning, we are a competitive bunch and things are about to get a bit spicy. What? I have to hold the back. Well, are you sour. are you in the running to winning, Michelle? Yeah, I think I stand a pretty good chance of I winning. I don't think you do, I'm sorry. <laughs> don't worry, I got this. It's pretty harsh, are you gonna pay? Just want you to know that uh, Miles yes. was talking about you and said, I crushed Steph last night. Yeah, he would say that. <laughs> I think he's just nervous. Oh, mm-hmm. Steph just informed us that uh, she's beat you before and so you're just feeling a little salty. Since when? <laughs> Was two. two. Well done. Thank you. Eric was yeah. also. Oh, that's way too hard. Oh no, Eric. Oh, oh no. Excited for a three there. Look at that smile. <laughs> 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 
Oh no. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> nice, Eric. It's not one. mathematically possible to catch Eric. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, yeah. Eric. Good game, everybody. What was the end result? Fun. Eric won, and I tied for last. But there's no time for wallowing in self-pity. We have a train to catch. So we had a great time. We did. Then we ran for the train. <laughs> oh, good they are here. I mean, we definitely gained time. We definitely probably should have run the other way. She goes, we definitely probably should have run the other, the other way. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Made it with seconds to spare. Thank you for joining me. I hope I've helped inspire your next summer adventure or at least just entertained you for 11 odd minutes. Next time, I'm gonna try and leave this flat. Until then, check out this throwback to Leeds Castle where I also lose miserably at mini golf. Take care, I'll see you then.